Greetings, this is Jay Walter Hawks and this is my Amiga 3000 which has given me uh, a lot of hell. Anyway, <laughs> uh, what we have today is we are going to replace the Super Buster sh oh, chip. That is the Super Buster chip right there. All right, right there. I took off the, uh, I had a little CPU accelerator here, took that baby off, got down to the meaty greedy of the, uh, Midi, nitty gritty of the motherboard here. So, I ordered a Super Ur Buster. This is seven. Uh, this is version seven. The new one I got goes all the way to 11. A Super Buster 11. So, anyway. All right, so, there we go. That's what we're replacing. Um, yeah. And, uh, I also, when I ordered this, I ordered this from AmiKit, or is it AmiKit? I don't know how the hell you say it. I just read it on the internet. Um, I got an extractor. Okay, so the extractor. Um, the way this works is these little guys down here grab the either end of the chip, and then you squeeze, and you see how it pulls up. So it extracts the chip. It, see how they pull up when you squeeze? Ah! and it extracts the chip. So therefore, um, you know, you don't need to be pulling up or wiggling it or anything like that. It's just a very easy situation. So here is the old Super Buster number 11. Both lucky, excuse me, this one's number seven. And we shall be extracting that. Am I getting a good angle? I don't even know if I am. Not really. Huh. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, there we go. That's a little better. You can see my beautiful hands. All right, and you just take this and you squeeze, squeeze. Oh, oh, geez, that felt good. All right, so goodbye number seven, even though that is a very good number, but number 11 is a good number too, and it's 11. Okay, so the Super -er -er Buster. Now what the whole idea here is, and I forget if I said this already, is this is gonna supposedly fix some issues with the Zorro 3 slots that are on the other side of this white thing here. And uh, hopefully that means my Picasso 96 uh, and, uh, drivers with the uh, Retina BLT uh, bacon, lettuce, tomato, um, uh, Z3, which stands for Zorro 3, uh, will maybe work, which it hasn't been. Nothing on this stupid computer has been working. So why should I be making a video showing you all my failures? Because I have a sense of humor and this gives you, the human race, a reason to feel superior. Okay, so, note. Okay, there's a little dot, right? Uh, oh, I don't even know if you can see this, but whatever. Right there, right there. And on the old chip, there's a little dot right uh, there, which I doubt you can see. Uh, whatever. Anyway, when we originally pulled this thing, I noticed that the dot was on this side. I probably should have said that before I actually pulled it. It was on, when I say this side, I mean this side, that side, right there. And yes, that also means that the text will be facing the same way as it was before. However, you can't always depend on that. Uh, the only thing you can really depend on is the little notch. So that's what we're doing. We're just gonna put this right there where it belongs. And then we are going to give it nice, even pressure all the way around and let it click on in. Oh, yeah, that felt great. Oh, jeez. All right. So there we have it. I have now replaced the Super Buster with the Super Err Buster. And uh, uh, hopefully this will maybe, uh, hopefully fix my issues. Um, and, well, we ain't got time for that right now. So anyway, I noticed there was no videos with this uh, particular thing uh, that I found on the internet. Not that this is rocket science, but you know, since it's not rocket science, I can do it. All right, signing out. Bye-bye.